All right, so today I will be installing Mo uh, Mac OS X Mojave on this Mac right here. Now it's currently running Mavericks, right? And now this is a um, uh, MacBook Pro, uh, like I think it's 2010 something something like that, or 2009. Here we'll say right here. Uh, yeah, mid-2010. So, going to be installing Mojave. But guess what? Mojave isn't actually supported on this machine. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to use this guide right here. Uh, you know. And, here, let's see, I think it's smudged. Okay, there. Alright, I'm going to be using that. Um, also, something I want to do is I want to keep the Mavericks installation, but I also want um, Mojave, so I want to dual boot uh, two Mac OS versions, right? Maybe even install Windows if I really feel like it. But the thing is, this is running a mechanical hard drive. Let's see if I can uh, show that storage. Um, doesn't say that's mechanical, but it, and it's 250 gigabytes. Um, and now I've been using this Mac for, uh, Cydia Impactor, but, you know, well, the reason why I've been using a separate computer instead of my main PC for Cydia Impactor is because it just works better on a Mac. You know, I don't know what it... Well, what causes it to just work on a Mac, but on Windows, I always get an error that I have to fix. On Mac, I only get an error when it's, like, something that I messed up, like typing in my Apple ID password wrong, or trying to, you know, assign more than three devices using one Apple ID, if, if that makes sense, what I'm saying. So anyway, I'm going to install an SSD in this also, but... Where am I going to get the SSD? Well, I have an extra one in my main PC right there. Um, that it has Ubuntu installed, but the thing about that is I installed it once, used it once, never used it again, right? And so, um, what I would like to do is, and, and don't worry, this doesn't actually have any data off it. Well, I mean uh, on it, so that's why I uh, didn't safely eject it. I'm also going to be installing this uh, wireless Wi-Fi card right here uh, while I'm taking out the SSD. So I have like six drives in that computer. Um, here, let's open up. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It is right there. Um, let's open up this. Partition Wizard 11. Alright, so let's see, six drives, yeah. Uh, so the one I want, I think it's, um... Ooh, it's either disc 4 or disc 5. I am not going to take any chances and just choose my favorite one. I'm, I, if I had to guess, I'd say it's disc 4 that has Ubuntu installed. Um... Like, that doesn't actually show up in here, right? So, um, yeah, let's turn this, hold on, do I have anything that I need? No, okay. Is this, no, okay, I can just shut it down then. All right. Um... So, let's um, get started, I guess. So what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to take this PC, I'm going to put it like right here or something to uh, take it apart and, you know, extract the SSD. All right. All right. Now, 
Uh, this has a GTX 1060 and I thought 6500K, if I'm remembering that correctly. Um, it has a 256 gigabyte SSD for a boot drive. And um, yeah, this is my setup. Anyway, let's uh, take. Uh, actually, I do not need to remove this drive cage. What am I doing? Um, here, let's uh, put that back. Okay. Great. The drive I want is this one right here. Um. Let's uh, unplug it first. Okay. There we go. And it kind of just fell. Um, well, let me turn on the uh, flashlight. Um, let's see. Let's see. When? Oh, it's right there it's sideways okay then kind of like okay there we go great here we are this is 128 right yeah 128 gigabytes um now i guess uh we could Put it back together. I mean, shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world to do. You know, oh yeah, I should have booted on that. Well, back to Ubuntu to see if there's any files that I actually want. Probably not. If I had to take a guess, um. All right, I will put this back together and put it back. Oh, first I need to do this. Right, right. Uh, this can go right in there. Um, <laughs> keep fucking falling. Holy shit, why does that happen? Uh, anyway... Let's, uh, yeah, just put that right in there with one hand. Is that in? Nope, nope. Actually, yeah, nope. Okay, I'll do that off camera. All right, I got the uh, Wi-Fi card installed, and I have the uh, antennas up there somewhere. Um... You know, when I was building this, I really should have chose a different case. That would have been a smart move. But anyway, I'm going to put it back over there. And then power it back on. Also, I think I'm going to reinstall Windows on this same video. You know, why not? Installing operating systems, you know. All right. And I'll tell you why when I actually uh, get to it. So I'm going to go ahead, put everything back over there. All right, got everything back together. Now, I didn't actually turn that on. The uh, power supply now. All right. Um, let's see. I need to... Uh, Disable something real quick. All right. Um, it would be under boot. Um, no, it would be under here. No, no, it, here, yeah. Tools, boot manager. Oh, let's just disable that. Okay. Exit. Save changes and exit. Yes. All right. 
Let's see now. Um, went straight into the BIOS again. Okay. That is not a good sign. Here, let's, uh... Because Windows Boot Manager completely fucking disappeared. I don't, I don't know why. So F11 Boot Menu. Um, be the... Yeah, Windows Boot Manager just completely disappeared. I don't know what that's about. And that's why I want to reinstall Windows. To make an attempt to get Windows Boot Manager back. Because I already tried to, uh... A lot of things, actually. I like booting into uh, like a Windows. Alright, so I just cut the previous clip because I typed in my password on camera. So as I was saying, I've tried like uh, Windows, um, like recovery mode, all that stuff, automatic repair, nothing happened. Um, why isn't this... Um... Let me try turning it off, turning it back on, because that legitimately sometimes works. I don't know why. Just turning off the TV, turning back on the TV. And then if that doesn't work, I go ahead and I unplug the uh, HDMI. Yeah, should have heard you done a thing by now. Um, okay, oh, not supported. Okay, that means... Let's unplug that, plug it back in, and, and, no. Okay then, let's plug it into HDMI 1, see if that makes a difference. And then, uh, where's the input on this, right there. Uh, not supported. All right, let me troubleshoot this. All right, I got a different cable, and it worked. All right, so this reopened, and I absolutely hate that feature of Windows, right? So I was like, you know what? When I click Alt F4 and shut down this way, the windows don't reopen, right? And so I just wrote a quick file that does not work okay here let's try that again maybe maybe instead of that we type uh, echo and then maybe this might do a thing no okay okay maybe instead of that we do that and then we just edit and type in some things okay then save that then no okay 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 maybe maybe just maybe no okay you know I'll figure this out later figure this out later um, Anyway, let's get back to work. Um, so, uh, installing the SSD first, I, uh, do, I should do this right here and uh, format that SSD. Um, here, let me uh, get a tripod. That would be over here. All right. A tripod. Um, all right. And then let me just set that right there. And then 
then where did I put the thing? Right here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to plug this into there just like that. All right. Great. And then I'm going to plug this into my computer. Then uh, let's see if anything interesting happens. Here, how can I, where can I get this shot? I mean, that's acceptable enough, right? Okay, I, I have a slight feeling it's crooked, but you know, um, let's go into here, did anything show up? No. Um, mini partition tool. Okay, let's get that going. All right. Um, so this one, disk five, I believe this is the disk, right? Um, so if I unplug it, what happens? Does disk 5 disappear? Disk 5 does indeed disappear. So I have 2 terabytes, 1 terabyte, 1 terabyte, uh, 0.2 terabytes. Okay, let's see, when I plug it back in, so I have 2, 1, 1, 0.2. When I plug it back in, will it refresh? does not want to uh, do that now, does it? Oh yeah, it's not even detecting something's... Oh, there we go. So I have 211.2. Okay, this one. This is the one. This is the one that can go. Delete all partitions. Yes. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Yes, apply the changes. Updating partition information. All things were applied successfully. Now let's ensure that nothing fucked up. So I have all my Steam games, yep, right here. Yep, all okay. Okay. Um, that's good, yep. That's good, yep. Um, oh, I... Salar Water Boy Project. <laughs> that was a, a funny thing. Okay, anyway. Let me explain the Salad Waterboy project. So, uh, in my, like, I call it the uh, Salad Science class, but that's not what it's actually called. It's like chemistry or something, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we needed to describe how we could do a thing to molecules. And then me and my friend created a video on how you could do a thing to molecules. Isn't that great? Anyway. Um, yeah. Now, all that's left is to... Ooh, my screwdriver is missing. I will go find it. All right. Now, I'm just going to unscrew these screws here and install... The, uh, it's a longer screw. Huh. Okay, well, these have an order that they need to go in. Wait, hold on. I don't know if I've ever actually opened up this computer before. Now that I think about it. Um... Alright, so I'll just unscrew it off camera. Alright, now let's just get this off, and yeah, I've never opened up this computer before. Alright, um, let's actually turn it off first, is it turned on? Nope, it's still turned on. Um, 
And then let's just go up there, click on that, shut down, shut down. All right. Now, let's wait until it shuts down. All right, it is off. Now, um, let's see if I can actually upgrade the RAM. There are multiple slots? Nah, no, both of them are taken. Uh, how, how much is this? Two gigabytes, okay. Uh, let's see if I have any higher capacity ones of this specific model. So I have a whole bunch of just normal computer RAM, but what I don't have is, um, you know, this type of memory. Uh, the smaller one, I, I forget what they're called. Uh, let's see, I have these. This is an 8 gigabyte stick, this is a 2 gigabyte stick. Let's see, this will not fit guaranteed. But let, uh, yeah, it doesn't fit. But that's 2 gigabytes, yeah. Oh well. Let's just reinstall that. There's like a hair in the way. Okay. Let's just reinstall that. Alright. And uh, let's put back all of this RAM. So this is actually, um, this is 128 gigabytes right here, and this is, I think, just 16. All right, because these are uh, 64 gigabyte sticks. Um, the uh, ballistics ones are, I think, 8 gigabyte. All right, let's get down to business. Um, so I'm going to Assume that is for the hard disk, and then unplug it, and then let's... Um, here, I've never been inside this computer before, so let's see, and I don't have a guide pulled up or anything. Um, here we go, okay. Let's unscrew that. Unscrew that. Alright, then this should just pop out, right? Yeah. Um, let's unscrew that. Or do I even have to hear it? Can I just. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, Okay. Oh, oh, do not tear that. Do not tear that. Okay. Um, don't think I actually had to unscrew these two screws right here. Just put them back. All right. So, here's the SSD. Or oh, fuck, I mean a hard drive. Um, you, what the hell is this? Um, like water damage? Much? Right here. Well, the computer still works perfectly fine, so. Um, well, I wonder if that could, like, do a bad in the future, maybe. Um. Whew. This is a small ass motherboard right here. Anyway. Um. Let's install the SSD. So, where did I put it in the first place? That's. Oh, it's right here. Okay, let's just. Um. Remove it from here. Alright. Then I can install this, not like that, but like this. Alright. Um, now let's... Um, 
Okay, okay, let's uh, install this now. Just two screws. Great. Now I have a slight suspicion this could just like fall out of the remote. So let's not worry about it. Um, now where did I write here? All right, let's just install this like that. And then let's reinstall those screws right there. Um, and then let's be careful not to put the long screw in the short hole. That's a very bad thing to do. Here, I'll do this off camera. All right, everything's back in. Now, you hear that? Yep, okay, let's open it back up and actually secure the SSD. All right. Um, so I'm thinking that I can just fold up a piece of paper and that would prevent it from just going all around. Or I could use double-sided tape on the bottom. Um, that would probably mess with the cables if I tried to remove the SSD. So uh, just get a piece of paper. All right. It's, um fold this piece of paper up, this piece of paper that I was going to uh, just put in the recycling bin, but guess what? I can use it for this specific purpose. Just keep folding it. Welcome to my origami class. Today we will be learning how to fold your paper in half. It's a very difficult process, one that requires a lot of skill. Is that too thick? Oh, that's just perfect. Okay. Let's just put that right there. And then we can just install the screws now. Um, okay. So. Now. As you saw while I, well, previously while I was uh, turning on the uh, main computer, it didn't actually boot up unless I told it where to boot up from, right? Well, boot to, right? And that just goes to show Windows Boot Manager got up and left when I installed Ubuntu, right? Now, I'm unsure why that happened. Maybe uh, Grub Boot Manager got in the way of something, and Windows Boot Manager had a conflict and wanted a divorce because I was interested in someone new, that being Grub, right? Grub Boot Manager or something, yeah. And so, let's just do that. Let's do that. And then just one le now this video it's extremely different from what I typically make uh, we make just phone repair videos but today I'm doing something different 
Um, all right. Now, let's make sure it still turns on. Um, let's see, it should give me like a question mark with a folder. If it's smart, that is. Just a white screen. Um, okay. It's gonna do anything anytime soon. All right, I'll let it sit for a moment. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so now what I'm going to do is just power that off. Okay, and then as you can see, my hair is not particularly agreeing with me today. Um, anyway, let's just shut this. Um, now, next step. Uh, partition the drive and install um like high sierra let's install high sierra so let me uh real quick find out how to do that again so it appears i need a mac in order to create this bootable usb and it just so happens I have another one, so I will go get that. All right, that's not what I want. Do not, well, ha, 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 fuck. Please say I have Mac OS X installed on this. All right, so as it was turning on, I just held down Option, and there we go. All right, I'll wait till this uh, boots up. All right, so right now I'm just copying the iSeer installer from this USB um, to the uh, hard disk of the computer. And now, um, I'll get back to you once it's done. All right, I got it. The High Sierra installer, now what? Um, get another USB disk, okay, I'll do that. All right, then I did that. When the installer has completed, it will launch automatically. Okay, I did that. Uh, open the terminal. Well, first let's plug the uh, USB drive in. Okay, let's open the uh, terminal. This is a crappy ass keyboard. Like, wow. Okay, then, then, enter the following command uh, syntax at the command line, replacing untitled with the. Okay. Let's just do that, that, that. Um, what is the, uh, I think it's just called blue. Yeah, blue, okay. Um. All right. Then, I think, uh, warning, use of improper pseudo command, uh, I... Shit, what's the password? Isn't it just... Hold on, is that... I need to verify that's the real password. And, um... That is not in the right file location to be recognized by that command. And that might just be why it's doing up a bad thing. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, here we go. Let's try that again. Uh, do you wish to continue? Yes. 
Okay, an error occurred. Okay. Okay, let's go to disk utility. And then let's actually make this a disk that can um, echo s extended journaled uh, just erase erase um, okay great looks like it's doing a thing and okay um, let's just get that back, and I think I can just do that. Yes, erasing disk. Um, okay, it didn't error out this time. That's a good thing. All right, copy and install our files to disk. Okay. Um, okay, great, great. I will get back to you once this has finished. All right, it has been a couple minutes and it is still copying installed files to disk. All right, so let's take this time to talk about why Fallout New Vegas is just a better game than uh, Fallout 4 and Fallout 3. So Fallout New Vegas is a better game than the other Fallouts created uh, after uh, the year 2000 because it just has more story, more things to do, right? Your actions actually have real consequences. If you choose to kill or side with Mr. House, that creates a lasting effect on the uh, rest of the game, all right? And if you uh, choose to go against um, Caesar's Legion and get vilified by them, they will come and attack you non-stop. Well, not non-stop. It's uh, every once in a while, you know. And the DLCs... Well, my favorite DLC, I think, of all time has to be... Uh, oh, what What's it called? It's, it's the, the one with the Sierra Mod... Uh, Dead Money. Dead Money. That's what it's called. And now, the reason why Dead Money is just so outstandingly amazing is the story. Now, it's amazing, right? And, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Still copy and install our files to disk. Um, well... You know, I will go and do something else, and I'll come back and see if it's done. All right. It's done. So, um, it said installer complete. That's what this means right here. Say boot installer complete. But that is really great, because I wouldn't have actually realized that it was complete until a while later if it didn't give me an auditory, you know, signal, if that is proper English. Um, anyway, let's see. What is our next step? Um, yes. Okay. Then just boot from the drive? Is that, is that, that's it. Okay. Great. Um, so I can just go ahead and eject that. All right. And then I'll be needing this later for the, uh, Mavericks thingy thing. Where? Oh, um, okay. Uh, the I'll, I'll be back with the Mac. Oh, yeah. Hold up. What the fuck? I wasn't even recording that. Ha ha ha. Okay, that's funny. Um, so what I was saying is so I just tried to stop the recording, then it started the recording. So I just pretty much booted off the USB. Wait, hold on, hold on, let me review the footage to see if it actually did record anything. Alright, so... 
in the previous clip kind of just stopped recording. I think I might have accidentally hit the stop recording button. Anyway, I'll just let this boot up and get back to you. All right, so it has done it up a good thing. Install Mac. Actually, no, we need to go to Disk Utility first. And then we need to let's see this one. Um, partition this. Um, so it's 128 gigabytes. 128 gigabytes divided. Mm, do I want to install Windows on this? I mean. Sure. Sure, there's no reason not to. Okay, let me do some quick math. Alright, that would leave me with 40 gigabytes per operating system, which I don't know about you, but that's unacceptable. So, um, let me do some more math and see what's an acceptable size. So, Let's see, um, all right, I'm going to partition it like this, 48 gigabytes for Mojave, that, is, hold on, hey Siri, spell Mojave, yep, Mojave. that is not how you spell Mojave, o -J -A -V -E. there we go, great, that's M-A-V-E-R-I-C-K, and I think that's how you spell Mavericks, and then Windows, all right, so, 48 gigabytes for Mojave, 30 gigabytes for Mavericks, and 41.7 gigabytes for Windows. All right. Um, partition. Great. Um, operation failed, of course. No shit, Sherlock. Um, an internal error. Um, okay, okay, you know what, you know what, you know what, let's just, let's just erase, you know, erase, will that remove this partition, I don't think it will, um, okay, okay, let's just remove that, um, okay, Hey Siri, spell Mojave. That. Mahogany. Hey Siri. M. Spell Mojave. Mojave. M O J. Yep, that's how you spell it. Okay, great. I'll just figure it out later. Then. Well, I'll partition it one at a time. Uh, right after I install Mojave. Okay, here we go. And this can just go back, install Mac OS X, continue. Um, Alright, let's go, continue. I agree, agree. Uh, this one, next. Install, loading. About nine, four minutes remaining. Alright. I'll get back to you once it's done. All right. So, here we go. Let me just connect the Wi-Fi real quick. Why is there so much just Xfinity, Xfinity, Xfinity? Oh, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, get connected. All right, got it all set up. And now the thing is, like, can you hear these fans? You know, um, it's running a bit hot hot right now and I don't think I've ever heard the fans this loud while I was on uh, Mavericks um so um let's well I guess we could uh put this camera in a tripod first okay then, let's just do that. Maybe that would work. Uh, 
well. Anyway, let's um, let's see, let's see. Okay, this asshole, stop, stop texting me. Anyway, <clears throat> I thought I blocked him, but apparently not. Um, okay. Now, let's go ahead and... Install Mojave on this one. All right. Um, you'll need to know copy of the. Okay. Oh, I I'm not know. Thanks. You'll need a copy of the Mojave installer. Uh, yeah, I can get that. Uh, 16 gigabit flash drive, have one of those. Copy the download tool. Uh, here, let's actually just get that up on uh, this computer right here. Um, nosdude1.com slash Mojave. Did I spell Mojave one? DOS has one S, not two S's, you dumbass. It's a disk operating system. And then it's a D right there. All right. Download. Let's have a direct download. All right. Um, okay, then insert your USB disk. Okay, here, let's... Uh, uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, that that shouldn't even be funny. I don't know why I did that. Okay, dick utility. No. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's. Uh, yeah, let's just erase it. Um. Okay. I'll, I'll wait for this. All right. Um, that's installed, okay, insert your desired USB disk, open disk utility, and, oh, I just did that, okay, then open the patcher tool, that's the trash, Mojave patcher tool, okay, let's verify it, checking volumes, finishing, alright, let's open this, Um, ensure that the tool successfully verifies the app, uh, cannot be opened, uh, can I, is that, nope, that's help, okay. Um, let's go into settings and then fix that issue, uh, the insecurity, right? <clears throat> and then, um, let's, uh, do this up. Hey, that was the right password. Hey, okay. And then, um, open anyway. I might not have needed to actually click the lock. Um, okay, let's open it. Um, okay. Next, select your USB in the target volume list and select uh, start operation. Oh, I don't even know if I needed to. Um, oop, not that. Uh, untitled. Here we go. Start operation. No application. Oh, yeah. Um, I need to download that. That being tools. Download. Download. Yes. Uh, I can just save that to desktop. Save. Okay, downloading. I'll be back when it's done downloading. Alright, so uh, I started the process a while ago, but I didn't actually record it, so right now it's just uh, creating a Mojave installer, and I'll get back to you once it completes. Alright, it 
is completed. Now, let's see, what do I do? Um, just boot from it, right? So, um, when the operation completes, boot your uh, target on supported Mac off the USB drive that you just created. Oh, that's easy. Um, okay, next. Only perform step 5 and 6 if you intend to do a clean install, otherwise you can simply skip these steps. Uh-huh. Okay. I mean... Okay. So, I guess just restart. It's not in frame. All right, great. Um, okay, it's doing a thing. Right option. Great. Um, guess this one. Um. Okay, well, um, in the application, select the Mac model you are using, the optimal patches will be selected. Uh, okay, okay, so it's just saying pretty much just leave everything as default. Uh, select the volume you have created, uh, click patch. Hold on. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Um. Okay. Um. So, when the installation completes, reboot back onto the installer drive. This time, open the macOS post install application. In the application, just click patch. Okay, that's what it means. When it reboots, you will now be running Mojave. Okay. Additional info, if you selected Mac OS post and some patch update located in your application. Like you, okay, and also will prompt you to install them. Okay, great. Now, this is a really easy tool to use. It's not even hard at all, and it's actually user friendly. Wow, who would have thought? Um, okay. I mean, uh, let's continue, uh, continue, agree, uh, let's do it on this one, continue, installing Mojave, 29 minutes remaining. All right, I'll be back when the uh, 29 minutes are up. All right, now, so it just went through the installation and uh, restarted and booted back up to this. Now, um, let's do all that. Um, patch. Isn't that what it says to do here, right? Um, application, okay, great. Great. Okay, and then uh, reboot. And then I should be running a fresh installation of Mojave. Alright, I'll uh, get back to you once it reboots. Alright, Mojave is installed. Now, the only graphical issue is, uh, is not clear, it's like gray, but that was noted in the uh, notes. Just tried to use this mouse on this computer. How do you think that turned out? Anyway, um, now let's, um, well, I mean, this is acceptable. I don't know if I actually need to 
install Mavericks because this is uh, faster than I thought it would be because in the past I had some horrible experiences with the uh, newer um, you know Mac OS versions running on older hardware but that was with a mechanical drive and uh, so I think I'm just gonna keep it like this and yeah it's pretty much what's gonna happen so yeah um now let's oh that's hold that all right let's install windows again um okay let's see so to do that let's get a windows 10 usb all right windows 10 usb right here all right and let's plug that in right there and then we can run setup yes um okay windows preparing okay this might take a moment all right now i have an issue choose what you want to keep uh, keep everything is not an option right and now uh, your files apps and settings can't be kept because your current version of oh shit yeah oh fuck that's right well that's just too bad Okay, well, I mean, hmm. Well, I guess that's the end of this video. So they're at right now. It's doing up a thing. And, uh, It's fine if I don't install Windows. I don't really care about it not having a uh, boot manager. So, you know, that is just great. Okay, guess what? Plans have changed. I was actually exporting uh, this video right here when I was like, wait, stop. This is complete bullshit. Um, you see that? 14 hours. There's no way I'm gonna wait 14 hours for this to export a, a movie. I mean, a YouTube video. Like, that's complete horseshit right there. Alright, let's cancel that. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and install Mavericks on this. Um, so... Yes, close multiple tabs, I'm sure. Alright. So. Let's get the USB. Um, and that would be in here. No. Um, oh, it's in that computer already. Um, okay. So. I... We'll get this USB right here, take it over here. Um, so it's uh, this like that. Then plug this in. And then here we can just eject. Actually, hold on. Um, what's on here? Okay, so that, I'm not showing the files because, you know, uh, let's get that on here. Alright, so, it's uh, copying the Mojave installer, because I have a copy of every uh, installer 
or pretty much Mac OS version, um, from Mavericks all the way to Mojave on this USB. Uh, so anyway, let's see, let's Google. Um, first, let's get a tripod. Let's Google. Uh, this is crooked. Okay. How to make a uh, bootable, that's not how be bootable, okay, boot, bootable USB uh, Mavericks USB, oh yeah. Uh, M A V E. Oh yeah, I spelled that uh, wrong. Anyway, here we go. Let's get on here. Um, I already have all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Operate. Oh no. Option one. Use that. Okay. Let's do this. Hold on. Download Mavericks. Connect your. Uh, Rename it to Untitled. Okay. Um. Okay. I launch a terminal paste this to your admin password. Terminal window display is that. You have a beautiful, bo uh, bootable Mavericks install drive. Uh, if you're curious about the create media install type return. Shows you the brief trajectory, okay. Um, hold on, then I don't think this is the uh, full command. I don't think it's showing the full thing. Um, yep, definitely was not showing the full thing. So let's just copy that. And then, um, let's rename that. That's already titled Untitled. Yeah. And then, um, let's open up Finder. Let's, well, this, ignore this folder. A lot faux effort. I misspelled of, and I never actually bother to change that. Um, where is it? Mavericks. You are going to need to come with me into, it was uh, applications, right? Oh, I closed that. I'm hoping it's applications. Uh, let's just put that in there. Uh, where did that go? Right there. All right. There we go. Copying to applications. Loading. And then loading some more. Holy shit, it's hot as hell in this room. So, these windows right here, right? It's always the exact same temperature as it is outside and here. And right now, it's, uh, if you can see that, 76 fucking degrees. Okay, man, like, okay, this is hot as all hell in here. Like, I'm sweating, and I shouldn't be sweating inside the goddamn house, okay? And it doesn't help that I have a computer running in this TV right here, let me tell you, it's the hottest thing ever. Like, I can't even tell you how hot it is. Uh... <laughs> okay, that sounded wrong, saying how hot it is. No, I mean like in temperature. Alright, don't take that the wrong way. So, I'll get back to you once these uh, things have finished you know, doing up a good thing, finish transferring, and I highly, highly doubt anyone except me is actually looking at this footage right here. You see, like, who the hell would watch this? I'm gonna upload it anyway. But seriously though, who the actual hell would wanna watch this? This is not even interesting whatsoever, let me tell you. And it's gonna be like an hour and 30 minutes long, like straight up. So, um, I'll get back to you. All right, so the uh, thing finished. Let's see if this command 
Ooh, that is not the correct command. Okay. All right. Now this is the correct command. Does it do anything? Let me type in my password. Is that the correct password? Yes. Okay. Um, so. Great. I will uh, get back to you once the thing has finished it. Well, actually, first, what I should do is I should go to uh, Disk Utility and partition the drive. Uh, partition, add volume. Um, here, here, um, what's it called? Mavericks, M A P E R I C K S, yes. That, uh, that one, okay, add, thank you very much. Um, okay, done, great. Mavericks, and then let's partition, partition. Let's try that again, and I don't know, I think this is, um, let's try that again, this time add a volume, actually let's not do that, let's partition, partition, um, add a thing, let's just make it like 40 gigabytes, or like, okay, um, Okay, hold on, let's, okay, well, no, hold on, let me get this, one second, okay, okay, apply, untitled will become, actually, 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 let's just name this to, um, it's not a very good shot, but, uh, maybe E-R-C-K-S, Apply, partition, continue. Okay. 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 Great. Shouldn't be taking this long. This has a good reason too that I don't know of. Okay, well, oh, that's still happening, um, you know what, I will just let this go, and also let that go, you know, and all that good stuff, and I'll get back to you once it's completed. Alright, so... As you can see, let's turn off the screen brightness. Okay, so, finished. Great. Now, let's restart. Restart. Alright. And then, after this, we could maybe... <clears throat> Stop worrying about operating systems. That's, um, you know, what I'm looking for right here. So, let's see. Just when the uh, startup tone starts, all we need to do is hold down Option. And then I did click Restart, right? I'm pretty damn sure I clicked Restart. There we go. Yeah, all right. Holding down Option. Um,. Install Mac OS X not 10.9 or something. No, I read that. I read that completely wrong. I don't even. I didn't even read it. That's how wrong I read it. Yep. And we can just stop worrying about this after. All right. Um.
Okay. Let's install. Continue. Continue. Agree. Agree. This one. Uh, yes. Actually, fuck no. Back. Cancel. <laughs> That's the installation disk, right? Hold on. Let's see here. Um, here fuck. 160. This one's 50. I want the uh, 50 gigabyte one. Erase. Uh, name. Mavericks. Okay, let's erase. Erase. Uh, no, not erase. But erase Mavericks. Okay, does it work now? Does it work? Please work. Install. Okay, next. Agree. Continue. Yes. There we go. Mavericks. Install. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. I'll, um get back to you once it's done. OS 10 All right. includes a built-in screen um, reader called VoiceOver. Let's, I don't if care you know about VoiceOver. Voice okay, so, the uh, computer is, well, has Mavericks installed. Um, so, you see, I'd call that a success, and this looks like a Alright, there we go. Uh, let's not transfer any. Um, I mean, don't sign in. Let's just skip. Agree. Agree. Okay. And you know what? We'll just set this up off camera. Alright, so in this uh, great most entertaining, like the most entertainment you'll ever find. It is a great video that wasn't very entertaining. I installed Mavericks on this computer and um, Mojave, and I made an attempt to reinstall Windows on that computer, um, but you see, I wasn't actually able to install Windows because it wouldn't let me keep my data. Anyway, um, that's just great.